Hip Hip Hooray! It's a reading day! We're back! It is day two. On location yes. at Morningside That's Elementary right. School. We're Ms. Paulson's room. To you live. Not recorded. Not live. <laughs> From Miss Paulson's room. <laughs> We're just happy to be here. We are. We are so excited to be back and you all have already done so much great work and the listening and learning. I hope you are taking in the world around you and mm -hmm. seeing some of those Formulating so many questions. Yes. Picking a favorite vocab word. Right. Helping Miss Jackson with her onomatopoeias. Right. All good those things, are, guys. <laughs> so tough. But so hopefully your eyes have just been opened after we've gotten into our book about all about bugs, bugs, bugs. So even though Bugs are kind of creepy. They're also pretty cool. They are pretty cool. So. Who loved the picture from my house? Oh my god! With the praying mantis. I don't think of Miss Jackson. I've ever seen a praying mantis that big. You guys, I just walked outside my garage door. I turned left to put my shoes on, and it was on the wall right there. And, and I just had to get a picture for for it. us. Yes. It was just the coolest, and it let it let us walk up. And we took very extra care not to hurt oh, the praying mantis. Right. Yes, oh, yeah. we released him right into the landscaping. Mm -hmm. But it's huge. So I hope you guys enjoyed that picture. That is that is incredible. And I have a picture of a walking a stick bug. Cool. And I just said cool. remember it. So we may have to. If you guys get out going to Bernheim or in your neighborhood and you see a cool bug, send us a picture. Ooh, we'd love that. Ooh, we'll wouldn't it be that. fun if we could put together a little album? We could absolutely put together mm -hmm. a little slideshow to show. Sounds like a I challenge. Like I like if it. You find a cool bug and you can create a slide about that bug we could put together our own bug book that'd be amazing yay nonfiction right MES bugs <laughs> bugs bugs so all right today we're gonna narrow in you have uh, learned a little bit already about text structure so text structure is something we look at when we're reading nonfiction text and the reason why we have to identify the text structure is because it leads us eventually to better understand the main idea and create those summaries. Because a summary of nonfiction is very different than what we did for fiction. So we have to start with text structure, just like we have a starting point. We have to reset our brain. Yes. There may not be a beginning, middle, end. Right, not really. There may not be. Because you could pick this book up and yes. read nonfiction yes. really anywhere. And in different places, you know, you can just go through and read the fact boxes. Mm -hmm. You can go through and read the facts that the author includes at the end. So that's kind of what's cool about nonfiction too, is you can read it so many times in a different way every time. And still learn something new. Right, right. So, but if we were to talk about text structure, we're thinking about just how, how is, how the author decide to organize this? Is he organizing it in a way that first, next, then last? Or not, not so much in this. We're not talking about the life cycle of bugs here. So there's different text structures as you learned from the videos. So today we're gonna identify what is the structure being used here in Bugs, Bugs, Bugs? And sometimes, Ms. Paulson, I have a hard time narrowing it down to just one. It's hard sometimes. You know, just one. It is, it, it can be a little bit tricky, but we're going to get right. through this together. So if we really, really think about this and what the author chose to do here with Bugs, 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 is he, he's truly I'll just, hold that up for you, Ms. Paulson. just oh. describing. Okay, so it, the description says it's a type of text structure that describes a topic by its characteristics and features. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, mm -hmm. Isn't that what's happening here? Mm -hmm. The entire text is describing, really focusing in on two parts, two important pieces of that description about the first is how the bugs are um, kind of their predatory skills, mm -hmm. you know, how they are attacking and find their food. And then the second one is how they survive out in nature. So, and we get the different descriptions of different types of bugs by doing that. We read so, the bugs, our bugs, yes, our bugs. We our read bugs, that paragraph, do you our remember? Bugs, our bugs, oh yes. I oh, just love that. Very beginning. Sorry, it just hit me. So, it starts with, yikes! Bugs look scary close up, but you don't need to worry. Most bugs are a danger only to other insects. They are the bugs that really bug other bugs. 
Love it. Love I it. love that. I, do I too. love that so much. I do too. I love that so much. So that's kind of our jumping off point because then from there on out, it starts to describe how bugs bug other bugs. And then because what if what if the author didn't organize Oh, it would her be ideas, her concepts, like our learning right. target. It, what What if she didn't? Right. It what would, if every page was a different topic, a different... We wouldn't really get as much out of it. No, absolutely not. Yeah. So that's why if you were able to attend class when we went live, we took a look at these big ideas. So, and kind of we use different graphic organizers when we're trying to organize the information depending upon what the text Clearly Miss Jackson is. loves graphic organizers. Yes. Miss Paulson and I have to write everything out. We have to see it. Oh, I'm so We, sure. we yeah. just, we're both very visual that way. And you may be too. Right, I am, and, and absolutely, it helps me. I can't hardly do anything unless I see it this I'm way. the same way. So I'm even way. when you look at our organizer that we have, it's describing our book, Bugs, 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 because, and it tells you the important parts that we're describing each day. So we started out our first lesson together describing the vocabulary that we found in the story. And today we're over here describing the text structure. So this is a great example of the graphic organizer that we use when we are pulling out the important information from a text that's been structured using description. Ms. Paulson, what's a text feature? Ooh, such a I mean, question. text, text, right? structure features. See, text features yeah. are all the cool little extras that in, are included in nonfiction text. So, oftentimes we may begin, this book doesn't have one, but sometimes if I go to the front of the page, I'll find a table of contents. That's a really important text feature mm -hmm. you may find mm -hmm. in nonfiction text. Now, here I see that it, these bugs are all really close up. That's a feature that the author decides to use. So that well, is a text feature. Font different. Mm, that's like, oh, what do you call that fancy font? Starts with crooked I. Italics. Yes, so it's, it's in italics and it stands out. The author, author decides to use italics to make those words stand out on the page compared to the other words. And then these words actually are labels so that I know what I'm looking at. Sometimes you may want to call these captions, but in this case, it's not specifically a mm -hmm. caption. Think of a caption more of like a sentence. If it's just a couple of words, then it's a label. So this is telling me, I now know that that's a stag beetle. And then I know that that's a dragonfly. I have to confess, when there's a text feature box, I read it first. Oh. Ms. Jackson yeah, reads it first there. before yes. what's on so, the page. Look, here's one. Here's one. It's a gross one. Oh, it is. <laughs> hairy food. Hairy food. Not any food that I much prefer. It's a kiwi. Kiwi's oh, kind of hairy. And peaches. Yes. I guess. Kind of fuzzy. Yeah. I peel them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, one kind of wasp catches huge spiders for its grubs. Oh. Uh, uh, that was that vocabulary grubs. we talked about the other grubs. day. For its grubs. It sometimes you know takes grub is, over the spider's home, too. Just a little, right. just a little extra goodness. Right. So, and there's a reason though that that fact box is included on this page. So I would have to assume that there's a connection because there's always a connection from the fact box to the rest of the text that is the main part of the passage. Our Scholastic magazines. Yes. Oh, I miss those. We're going to take a look. At, well, we're going to take a look at those this oh, week yay. digitally. I miss so, those, but they have amazing text oh, features. Incredible. The Scholastic magazines. Yes, the best. I have some ready to figure out which ones we're going to be working with mm -hmm. as we go along yes, through text structures. So you'll be seeing those. Um, other text features that we see lots and lots of focus on the close-ups, mm -hmm. which is it makes sense as you read and you. And I'm sure you've put together by now because you've listened to the story or the little I see. Miss Paul says to work on that because I'll say story when I'm talking about nonfiction sometimes. <laughs> Is it a text? Yes, it is oh. wrong, wrong, wrong. It is not a story, it is a text. So when I am reading through the text, or you have read through, you'll understand the importance of these close-ups. 
because to understand the meaning of the text, you mm -hmm. have to see that close up. And these close ups allow us to better understand what we're reading. Awesome. Yes. So those are just a couple of text features. And then you'll see more in your uh, StoryWorks or Scholastic magazines that we'll include in your lessons. And we hope you're staying with us even if you don't like bugs. Right. Hang in there. It's kind of creepy. Don't shut us out cool. because it's about bugs. Especially right. this time of year, get outside, find some cool bugs that you're not allergic to, right. um, play in the leaves. Leave them outside. Don't bring them inside no, no, no. unless you have permission. Take a, pic take a picture and send right. it to us. Yes. All right. All right. That is awesome. All right. That's all for today. All right. All right. So until, until we, we read, read again. again. Bye. See you later. Bye.